How's it going, everyone? We're here again, <laughs> Friday, basketing. Yeah, I'm feeling a little bit, uh, a bit gutted, really. We let the youngers out earlier. Back here now. They've been running mad. They've done it today and got themselves into trouble again. We had it a couple of weeks ago. But they're drifting in all day and we were five short. And we're seven short today, you know, they've been drifting in singles, doubles. And people say dark machines don't run. Well, fuck me, Hazard. They've done it twice, like I say, you know, and got themselves into trouble. But they're running daily, they're just, just going. There she is, as the tranny. We're gonna send her today. We're at Weatherby again tomorrow. 100 and just shy of 147 mile. And then, you know, they're off to Perth next week. Well, these same seven are, but went to Dunbar. Yeah, so, yeah, there you go. Yeah. Go on. Yeah, for last week's result. We were first club, second open. Fifth club, ninth open. And our Ruby Ruby snuck in there as well. She was 18th open. So yeah, we had a really good race, especially on that wind being over here. I'm gonna keep this short tonight. I'm gonna to show you a phone out of here because I wanna be in the garden really, waiting for these youngins. Jal was his hen, 83. Been flying really well for us. Probably been our best. 
first end. So far, yeah. in there again, 18th open last week. Good girl. She's a great pigeon. She's full sister, so our 24 hen and the 81 hen. And they're all daughters from a pigeon called Long Neck. Fucking Long Neck it has, Mick Bundy. And that is shit and winners already. She can put it in tomorrow. Sister 73. Our second pigeon back last week from Dunbar. She got beat by a daughter, the tray. Yeah. She'll be going to Perth next week. Needs to put a little bit more effort in. She turned up from Dunbar last week. Didn't even go to the drinker. No food, straight into a box, spinning about. Where her daughter, the tranny, she collapsed on the land board, bless her heart. She pulled herself in, sort of on her wings. She put that much effort in. The soup snail, she went to Dunbar as well last week. A bit late, but she was there on the day. She'll be heading off to Perth next week. Foxy Roxy, she went to Dunbar. A bit late, but she made it home on the day. I say late, it was too late really. She'll be going to Perth. We really fancied her from Dunbar as well. We had the tennis on her, but... Tell you what, that hen there, the kid. 
chance she will earn her name last week. We sent her to Sleaford. We were going to send her down, but I wish I did know. She came here from Sleaford, and this is no word of a lie. She was flying for half an hour. At least. My old man was there, and my mother. At first, I thought it was a Dunbar pigeon, so I was going a bit insane. But yeah, as soon as she landed, I knew it is. She's a fucker. But I've tried something different this week with her. So we'll see. But yeah, she's lost us a couple of races. we doing that. Flying around six minutes, four and a half minutes. But last week, half an hour. She's definitely going to Perth next week. 300 and, I don't know, 300 and something more, well, 20, 330 more, maybe a bit more, I don't know. But what a prick. Should name it the Big Cat now. So yeah, still seven yards and short. I don't know if the drive anyone mental yarns, didn't they? Last year we had them fucking fielding. This year they're just running that hard, they just got themselves into trouble again with other folks, didn't they? And it could be anywhere. But the ones where I've turned up, they have flown to miles again. <laughs> but you know, they learn a lot, don't they? <laughs> that don't make it any better. I just want to see them other little money pigeons here. But yeah, I'll bring you back tomorrow. I'm just going to play some games with these other hens now and these. And then, um, sit drink, have a cup of tea and whatever before you head off to the club. Yeah, like I say, I'll bring you back tomorrow for the race. I just don't know, I just seem to have lost that spark. That might just be me being paranoid. Saturday morning. What a fucking dreadful morning it is as well. It's been pissing down all morning. It ain't stopped. I don't look like it's going to stop either. Birds were liberated. Uh, up past seven. Into a light variable wind. But there's this all over Norfolk. Further on down. I spoke to someone in Kings Inn. And about half hour ago. They ain't had no rain. You're talking sort of 35 mile north of us. But we ain't so lucky here in North, well, mid Norfolk, South Norfolk. Absolutely fucking terrible. I don't know. My old clouds are shifting a bit as well. Looks like the northeast to me, but. Yeah, we sent sent the 23 again. Pulled daughter Celeste, big girl. The Joe Ros is hen. And the little blue pied for one last week. But yeah, I have to wear sunglasses. I've got a wanky eye. One of my eyes, one of my retinas detaching from the eye, if you're all thinking, hey, come you got sunglasses on in rain. I'm trying to protect the eye. <laughs> but yeah, I'll bring you back in a little while. I certainly know 20 to 10. So that's two hours, 10 minutes. So I don't know. It's going to be such a tough day if they're going to hit this. It's rank. Absolutely rank. No good for racing pigeons anyway. Different if there's a couple of miles of it, you know. But this is new on all over Norfolk. Fucking shower of shit. They held on to him from Sleaford last week, so I passed one in the afternoon. 
75 mile race. But they let him go today. 147 mile race. With the whole Norfolk nearly being underwater. Unbelievable. Pigeon men are fucking crazy, I'm telling you. Anyway, forget about that. Uh, well done, Pete, last week. First open, Pete Rogers. Well done, mate. We were second, ninth. So we were well happy with that. We're sitting top of the Premier League as well. Get up, come on. Drew Dale Cullen today in the knock knockout. But he's up at Swaffham. I think he fly about 25 miles short of me. He's up there on the racing line. So they're going to be hard to beat today. Yeah. It is what it is. Let's just hope the ends put it in, get the red down to sort of come through this. But it's going to be a shit race. I know it is. This has been solid. Constant since like 6 o'clock this morning. Since I got up. terrible. Anyway, I'll bring you back in a little while. Probably three hours. I'll start recording at three hours. Awful. Absolutely awful. Anyway, I'll bring you back in a bit, peeps. Right, that's now bang on two and a half hours. And this rain, that ain't holding up. I ain't stopped. I'm telling you, that's going to be a rough one today. Unbelievable. These clouds are shifting as well. That's the northeast. So that's one good thing, I suppose, with that north wind. That's sort of going to help them a little bit. I'd rather that sort of wind than a bit of a brisk headwind in the rain. Unbelievable. I might think I should have should have sort of like kept them seven back. What sent we sent it done by last week. You know, they're going back to Perth next week, but for all days today though. They are pigeon racing and that is pigeon racing. It is what it is. But like I said earlier, you know, it ain't too bad. There's only a sort of couple of mile of rain. But this is solid. It's all about getting them home today, I think. But yeah, like I say, it's now just gone two and a half hours. I don't think they're going to be quicker than three hours. Can't see it, not with this rain. There you are. There you are. It's Pigeon Racing, boy. <laughs> I'll bring it back in 15 minutes and I'll let it roll. Look at this weather, look. Jesus, that's not even going to break either. Oh. It's going to be a tough one for them. It's now. Two hours forty. And this rain ain't stopped. Like I say, I come out at six o'clock in the morning. And that was kind of, you know, like misty rain. Really fine, but stuff will get soaked. <laughs> Ugh, this shit's getting, you, getting me soaked, but there. Just hope they're on a mission and they just, you know, get their head down. Come on. Come on, our little hens.
that's where we want them. Come on over there. The last couple of weeks, they've been coming out of the west. Just hope they ain't found a line. You know, running sort of down from Kingsley into Manford and then across. We don't want that. We want to skirt that wash. Kingsley, Swatham, Watton, and here. That's so hard when you ain't got no pole at all. There's only us down here. Come on. Yeah, we're only three short now with the babies from that disaster we had yesterday. They come out here at six o'clock this morning and we had both farm money pigeons sitting on top of the loft wanting to go in. That's all good, we've still got there. Still got all five money pigeons there. Yeah, definitely think they got hit by Percy yesterday again. Out running the boat. But they'll get streetwise for it. They learn a lot. That's twice they've done that now. Cleared off running and then been hit. see different pigeons today. Oh, I just can't believe they got let up. Oh. I suppose they had to get them up, I don't know. Got the up north combine down at Maidstone, 10,000 pigeons. I don't know if they're up or not. Come on. I just hope we... The cunt don't turn up first. Like I said last night when we were basketing, she really deserved her name uh, last week. Good job up on our first bird. She turned up, she flew around and around for half an hour. That's no exaggeration either. That was half hour, at least. But put it this way, she didn't get her cock. She's been punished all week. It's just hope, you know, with what we've done with her. <laughs> Change her <a> thinking pattern. <laughs> She'll be off to Perth next week, don't worry about that. She can fly for half hour when she turned up last week. Let's see if she do that from Perth. That's now 2 hours 45. Come on. This rain is going to slow them up big time. Two hours fifty. If it was a nice day, I reckon they'd have been there around this sort of time. But this rain is relentless. Jesus Christ.
Well, they've got to show art today. They've got to show a big art, come through this. All right, that's bang on three hours now. Just shy of 50 mile an hour. Poor little buggers. Now all the race prep during the week. That's all out the window now, guys. Come on, come on. Right, so I think it's all about getting them home today. It's all about numbers. I just can't believe they're liberated in this. Hung on turn for half one last week from a 75 mile race. Unreal, mate, unreal. I think the Norwich Fed went at half nine. I think they're at Lace, Laceby, I think. No, oh, Driftfield, sorry. Driftfield. In three hours ten now, this could be an absolute disaster. Come on. Yeah, we make good decisions all season. One bad one can just ruin it all. So today. Number. Come on, come on. Well, this will definitely suit the shorter flies. Especially the boys at Kings Lynn, apparently they had a clear run. Us boys down there, we're going to get fucking hammered, I bet. Touch wood, it don't happen. But... Fucking unreal. Why though? I don't understand why they would let him go. Like I said earlier, you know, stiff in the vessel, the old spots of showers about. A couple of mile around, but this is just solid. Oh, I suppose that's pigeon racing, you know. You've got to put your birds in someone else's trust. Yeah. 
Bob. Come on. Come on. That's the blue pie again. They come over the bungalow and Ronnie. Come on. Come on. So look at that. Brown rats. Come on. You see how soaked they are, dog? Fucking drained rats. Poor little fuckers. Ah. Well, at least we got a pool the first anyway. She also won last week. First club, uh, second open. Over 1,200 pigeons. There they are, it's number three, look. Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Yeah, the first one is 10.41, so 3 hours 11 minutes. The first two come over the bungalow, so I don't know. But then the last three come out of the west. They're well split up again. Soaked. Their ice ears are redded up. Their wattles are redded up. They definitely know they've done it today. Dreadful decision to let him up though. What can you do about it? You know, once you take him to the club, get him on that lorry, they're out of your hands, aren't they? And not your pigeons anymore. Just want numbers now. I think there's going to be a few empty purchases tonight. She ran Norfolk anyway, mid Norfolk, south Norfolk. <sighs> yeah, fourth one on the pad was uh, on them little late breads again. 
from uh, the little blue pie den and our good retired racing clock. Yeah. Thought Celeste. Come on. I think it is anyway. Good girl. Come on. She come from behind us. Come on. <whistles> One head and an eye for a look of it. Come back on itself. Can't blame these pigeons today with this weather. Fifth one, his daughter Celeste. So in the five, but we've got three are our poolers. We can pick them. Come on! Yeah, I fought together, look. They come from behind us as well. Come on! Come up. It's nice to see them. <laughs> Come up. Come up. Come up. Come up. Fucking soaked. Come up. Come up. Come up. Come up. Come up. Come on. That is the way. The can. Come up. I don't have one. All come from behind the snow. Got it. Come up. Come up. Come up. Oh, look at that, oh, look at that walls. Jesus Christ. Come on. Come on. I have one. Come on. Come on. Come on. Gem Sarah Ken. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, that's a good job right in the first one. Get in, Regina, get in. Fucking things. I'd say you can't play them today. No 
I'm well coming for that. Right, everyone. I'm going to wrap that up now. We've got 10 on the clock. They're just soaked. Their, their wattles are red raw. Their ices are... They like drone rats, bless them. It's all about getting them home now. Yeah, we sent, we're still 13 out. But these later ones are coming sort of from behind us. So they've just got, got through. Still can't believe they sort of liberated these pigeons from knowing that's going to be like this. But they are, like I say, once them pigeons are up the club on that lorry, they're out of your hands, aren't they? They're not your pigeons anymore. Just so they're in your shed again. But I uh, hope you all had a good, I hope you all had a good race. I think there's going to be a lot of empty perches around Norfolk. I really do. But I'll bring you back tonight. But I, uh, I'm not confident at all. Not one little bit. But yeah, if you could uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. We're now at 800, so nearly at the 1,000. That's the target for this season. Get to 1,000 subs, that'd be nice. It don't cost anything. So yeah, I just want to say thank you everyone who's been watching, liking the video, commenting. It helps out massively. You know, it pushes the video up in the algorithms and puts it out to more people. This is the first time the rain has stopped now, look. Since, well, well since I come out this morning at six o'clock this morning. Anyway, you all take care, and I'll bring you back with the results tonight. Much love, everyone. Bye-bye. Hello, everyone. This is our first bird today. She managed to get a second club beat by Jimmy Davis, another Wesley Loft, with East in the Wind. She was our first pigeon back last week. She won her first club last week and second open, over 1,200 pigeons. And uh, she's second club today. The little blue pie then, CJ Angel. Cracking little hen. We also got her daughter, the little late bread, fourth on the pad today. So yeah, well happy, the little hen. There's Ronnie, second on the pad today, dropped with the little blue pie then, winning us third club. Crack a little pigeon. Another one bred by Mickey Bundy. A little yearling. So yeah, well done. Happy days. Third on the pad today, the gel was his hen. This has been coming really well for us actually. She's uh she's through a bird called New Queen Owl. It was gel was his KB, KD, 2017 Ace Pigeon. Yeah, she's come really well. Happy days. Anyway, thanks for everyone watching the video. Hit the like, subscribe button. Much love. Take care.